All right, guys, so we're doing the giveaway winner for the uh, LED AC vent. If you comment in on this video, you'll be entered to, you were just simply entered to win. Yeah, put the link in there. Uh, no duplicates. No, I don't know how to add, so let's see if that's right. Wait, is it division or add? add? Okay. 38 comments. Let's see if that works. Here it is. Let's get it. So Ivan Villarreal, just send me a screenshot of your name and then uh, DM me on Instagram and I'll send those up to you. All right, there you go. Um, so what you're gonna do here is you're gonna go to settings and then you're gonna go to <clears throat> JB4 and then you're gonna go, go uh, water meth injection settings. So now for people running, let's say meth, Let's do meth first. You're gonna do for meth, it will be boost additive, which is this one up here. Boost additive will be 40, oops, 40. And then signal scaling will be 60. And then the minimum flow rate is recommended at nine. Now the minimum flow boost is um, for the meth to come on. So let's say by the time your car hits nine pounds, that's when the meth will start pumping. Now I don't, in my opinion, I would, this is way, way too high. So <clears throat> I would say do it like at five, you know, or four, but technically you don't make much boost if you're cruising and all that stuff. You don't make that much boost just with normal cruising. Now, <clears throat> when, when you're racing, you have a uh, less of a delay on your math and all that so you can run more boost like say for a map six all right so those are the settings for that uh and then <clears throat> for uh the external trigger the uh minimum rpm which is this is set to 2000 and then max rpm is set at 7000 all right so this is basically the meth injection settings <clears throat> and that is what it would that that's what uh going on there oops okay now you, you're gonna hit save uh forget about everything else i'm not connected to my jb4 so everything else is gonna read differently so just ignore all that you hit save and that should uh fix that now uh <clears throat> for the cpi right let's, let's do cpi now This for CPI, leave it at zero. That's what I ran mine, never had an issue. Now, uh, for the CPI, we had uh, 80. And then here, <clears throat> 98. Now, the reason why it's supposed to be signal scaling 98 is because the JB4 is programmed to know that you're running CPI by it being at 98. So I've never messed with that, and it was car ran great. Now, <clears throat> I had mine at two right because when i would i would cruise i would always cruise in eco mode my car never made more than a pound of boost it was always just chilling <clears throat> so that was just me plus i was running uh e50 60 so even if when it would come on it would just like you would feel the car pull a little extra which is fine it's just you could always just fix it put it at at 10 when you're cruising or whatever or at nine and then just leave it there but and then whenever you're gonna raise just turn it down to two and as soon as you hit that gas, it's instant. Reaction's instant. Instant. Now, you're supposed to run map seven right for all these. But I've noticed that a lot of people that I've been tuning with their map six, uh, to give them a map six, that they run map seven, you get very, very little boost. Now, I'm going to post a, a, here a, uh, a vlog for somebody that sent me their map seven. And it was very little. And he said, hey, my car feels very slow after the math, um, <clears throat> blah, blah, blah. So I was like, let me see, you know. So what you're going to do here, right, so you can run uh, meth and well, CPI in every map, which is a big jump. You go to user adjustment settings, right, up here. You go <clears throat> down here, and then you're going to put meth trigger one. Now that will allow you to run meth and CPI in every map, which means map six. So 
you're able to set your your higher boost in um in map six right because uh i haven't really compared the graph but i'm going to post the graph of a map seven with meth or cpi and the map six that i made for one of one of the buddies that in inboxed me and in, uh instagram and uh the big difference so this is just a comparison of what uh how much difference it goes from a map seven to a map six now you're allowed to run every map whichever you want and your meth or cpi will always trigger at your minimum uh boost flow right so what the hell um Give me a second if I what the, if I click the right one here. So whatever you set this here, whatever you set that, whatever that is set to, it'll uh, activate your meth or CPI. Now, for CPI users, CPI users, here's where you control how much flow there is to this. Okay, so um, <clears throat> whatever you have it at. It'll be a recommended uh, 50, uh, 80 is what the stock one is, but it all, it, everybody's different. Everybody's, everybody's uh, trims are different. So look at the trims. If your trims are way, way too low, that means you're way too high. Lower this one, lower all these. If it's way too, uh, too high, put them higher. And that should uh, fix uh, their issues too for you. But like, if you guys have any questions, y'all need a, um, a custom map and all that good stuff. You know I got got you guys. I've done a a bunch a bunch of map six, uh, with uh CPI or meth whatever they're running, <clears throat> and a uh, big jump. It's a big jump. I want to say a, a solid, mm, a fifty horsepower gain. I'm not gonna lie, cause they were running under, they were running like eighteen pounds of boost, which is crazy. If you have meth and CPI, you can push it uh, higher to like, um, twenty three. I'm gonna show you guys my log. This is what my log looks like and what I was running. And I was running that map for a long time till I uh, I got sponsored and I was able to run a uh, ECU tune, you know, but <clears throat> my car was fast for uh, for uh, um, for uh, for it being just a JB4, you know. And um, I have a couple of runs with a buddy of mine. He's uh, if you also if you need more help uh, with meth, he is a uh, he's a really, really good meth guy. Uh, all he did was run meth and I ran a CPI. When we were both on JB4, uh, JB4, he he would take me about solid two cars when he would race, and that was just me running map four, map five, and. I do in the map six and then i did more research on the map six and then after that we kept running it and it was just whoever hit the gas first would win so technically he hit the gas first and then he would beat me by whatever the car like half a car or something and then we ran it again and then i would hit the gas first technically and then so it, we were neck to neck to the end till after my uh i'll put some videos up um after my uh my ecu tune um it was just a, a big jump but for Y'all guys know how my car ran with the ECU tune. Once I got the ECU tune, I uh, ran him with uh, the the base tune, which was a log, just for me to log and send it in, 
get more faster and all that just a simple bass tune well it just picks up your top end you notice how the top end is just where that's where it's at you know for and for him keeping up neck to neck to me till after 120 it's just crazy how much a jb4 could do um his cars uh, i'm gonna put his uh, his uh, info here if y'all need more meth y'all have more meth questions and all that he's a he's really good with meth all he did was run intakes meth basically that's all he ran from what i'm uh, what i'm hearing but we were both uh uh, we're both gutted, you know, we just race mode all the time, basically. So, um, his car was a 2018, my car was a 2021. Both have LSD. Uh, really good runs between me and him, to be honest. Um, but if y'all have more math questions and all that good stuff, just ask him. He's really good with that. But yeah, <clears throat> if y'all have any more questions, just uh, let me know and uh, I'll get back to you guys. Thank you.